Good morning. Uh, this is John. I'm coming to you actually from work, and that's why I'm dressed up a little bit more nicely than normal. Normally, I'm not shaved and I'm wearing a t shirt, but today I'm in a sweater vest and I'm at work. You know, it's kind of cool here. Um, I want to talk to you this morning about YouTube's monetization program changes and how I feel about them and um, what I hope maybe some of you can help me with. So, the first problem I have with this is that, as I've read in a handful of blogs, and I'll put those in the show notes. Um, are that people count on this money, even if it's 60, 70, 100 bucks a year, that might help somebody pay for you know, a bill, some work on a car, some car insurance, gas, um, a lot of different things that you know, really should be happening there. And so while I recognize that it's probably a significant cost savings for Google, um, it's probably a huge time savings in terms of management and work, um, It'll probably help them do a lot of things like focus viewership on really high quality channels. There are a lot of people that are out there that are getting started, that are new, and this is really just a startup for them. Um, for me, the reason it's important is because I don't want to use like work income, you take money out of like grocery bills and stuff for my own family, and use them to buy equipment like microphones and cameras. But YouTube monetization does that. It also helps me to pay for like websites, server costs, things like that. And so I hope I'm putting good quality content out there and I, I feel like that YouTube uh, monetization has helped me to do that. Um, my second reason for this is that most large sweeping changes happen for new users and not old users. Whenever things happen like this, like cell phone plans, uh, I mean, you name it, anything that's contract-based, you see that um, most of the time people are grandfathered in, so they get to still work on, under the old working regime, and anybody that comes in after a certain point uh, has to follow those new rules. So like for me, I've been monetizing a YouTube channel for three years, I've got another one that's been for five years, and I feel like maybe I should have gotten grandfathered in there. Uh, my third reason is that YouTube made claims and very intentionally said, you know, that people should, in fact, uh, focus their channel content. So I've had two YouTube channels, both of which have been monetized. One having about 400 viewers and one having about 300 subscribers, 260 some odd currently. And so that's almost 700 subscribers between the two. So that was really actually close to that thousand subscriber threshold. But because I followed some of their own advice of focusing my YouTube channel, um, then what really happened was that I've actually hurt myself now because they've made this policy change. So um, my fourth reason, and I dropped my notes, hold on. My fourth reason is um, the analytics. This is the most important reason, by the way. I expect that now my videos will get relegated to a second class. When you monetize your videos, um, YouTube has always put them out f closer to the search results because they want to make money back too on these results, right? It's not just me that's making the money, YouTube and Google are making this money as well. And so now that my videos are not being, um, now that my videos are not being seen as much, I won't build as many subscribers. Because I'm not building as many subscribers, um, it'll take longer for me to get to that thousand subscriber threshold, which means it just takes that much longer for me to get to the point where my account can be re-monetized. So let's recap. The first reason is that there are people that count on that money. I count on that money and I want to use that to continue making my YouTube channel better and better and to pay for servers and such and uh, you know for blogs and whatnot. But you know that that's not going to happen anymore. My second reason is that typically changes like this get grandfathered in. And so those numbers of a thousand viewers and so many watching hours, I may meet one of those criteria, but not both. And all of a sudden I'm out in the cold. The third reason is that um, I actually followed YouTube advice and now I'm getting penalized for that um, by the fact that two YouTube channels that I have focused are now both gonna be demonetized. The fourth and final reason being that um, the analytics will no longer work in my favor. So um, because I will no longer be monetized, because my accounts are smaller, um, my videos will become basically second class YouTube videos. Now, granted, they're not as good as videos like Casey Neistat's and all those other channels that are fantastic, but you know, 
it's been some work and it's been really nice to do. So um, for all of us in the YouTube community that are getting impacted by this YouTube, I would just love to say you've provided a wonderful product, a wonderful environment, and a great community for us for so very long. Uh, I ask that before this deadline in February or maybe at some point after, you reconsider and help us to rebuild this community again. Thanks. If you're watching this and you found it useful, go ahead, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.